that AMP81, and what will always stand unique to the experiences that we've had in the Advanced Management Program, and the experiences that we've had with adult education across the Wharton School, is the journey that we took together. AMP is often, it is often a community that is marching together for a period of time. And so we start together, we walk together, and we end together. I think you'll agree with me that that's not exactly how this felt. We definitely started together. We're definitely here. <laughs> We're ending together. But the, meta the metaphor that kept coming up for me as I thought of it, it wasn't the long walk that we all went on. It was almost an adventure race. Right? The different routes, the different obstacles, the different moments, and all of the other complexities that every one of us was managing as we embarked on this journey, as we endured through the journey, and then we arrived here together at the end of this journey. Uh, I mean, I will say, at times, I could sort of picture Burt Reynolds in Cannonball Run. <laughs> There were a lot of laughs along the way. Sometimes, I'll be honest, we had no idea where some of the teams were, <laughs> right? But the, the truth is, uh, it has touched my heart to have begun with you. It's touched my heart to have journeyed with you. And I have profound, profound respect for each of you, for James and for you, Ting, that we all can end this journey together. So I have one final reading that I'd like to offer. Uh, I, to me, it, it's one of the readings that I use that I think gets to the essence of what the advanced management program tries to hold up. Okay? Because each of you are incredibly intelligent, were incredibly accomplished up before arriving here. So this wasn't about launching you into some successful career. You were living in that successful career. Right? And I think Rodrigo's hope for you, that you take all of the skills, all of the energies, all of the relationships, and apply them to the thing which is your passion and your purpose, that's what means the most to us. And I know that's why Mike, and Rodrigo, and Ann, and John, and all of our executive coaches, and Maria, and Joe, and Megan, and Liz. That's why we come back and do this. So I want to share the invitation with you. Uh, this is a poem from Orion Mountain Dream. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for, and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring your moon. I want to know if you have touched the center of your own sorrow. If you have been opened by life's betrayals, or have become shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with your pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it, or fade it, or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own, if you can dance with wildness, let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes, without cautioning us to be careful, to be realistic, to remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me if the story you are telling me is true. I want to know if you can disappoint another to be true to yourself. If you can bear the accusation of betrayal and not betray your own soul if you can be faithless and therefore trustworthy. I want
want to know if you can see beauty even when it is not pretty every day. And if you can source your own life from its presence. I want to know if you can live with failure, yours and mine, and still stand at the edge of the lake and shout to the silver moon, yes. It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after the night of grief and despair, weary and bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done for the children. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the center of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside, and all else fails away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself, and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments. To AMP 81, it has been an honor and a privilege to journey with you. I know I speak for the entire staff and faculty of the AMP program when I tell you that we will stand with you. We look forward to seeing what you will accomplish in this next phase of your life and career, and we are standing by 